two and three, tiny tiny. We realised quite some time ago the amount of waste that we have and that we could be doing something both um, saving the environment and the amount of waste that went to landfill and also we were in a good position to be able to make our members aware of the situation and also our staff. Bye. Once the members leave, the kitchen staff and whoever else are available, they're out clearing the tables. They will sort it all. It's very uh, swift. Everybody knows what they're doing. They train automatically now. They come into the kitchen and they buddy them up with people and they know exactly what their role is. So what is it you're doing? I'm collecting paper <laughs> in a separate bag, not in this one. It's got cabinets in it. So that's done now. They will clear all the tables and they will sort out paper, cans and plastics. That's done about three or four times a day. In this area here is our glass recycling. Recycle everything really. Recycle our cans, our plastics and paper we do and our glass. This is empty once a week and it's full every week. It's been open now uh, seven and a half years and we have recycled from day one. They're very, very high in it. Well, everything we can recycle, we do recycle. If it can be recycled, it goes. We also do the outside. Uh, there's a brook outside. We clean, well, we don't actually do it. A company comes in to clean that for us. Everything above the level of the brook we're responsible for. We cut the trees back. We've also planted trees, two apple trees, a cherry tree. Well, we have the brook that runs through the property. We also try to protect the local habitat that we have there. We let it run wild to a certain extent, but we also keep it clear as well to keep the ambience of the property as we like it to be. We save as much electricity as we can. If you're going in anywhere and it's not been used, you switch the lights off after you. The staff room, you go up there, you'll find it's dark at the moment. During the afternoons, we lower the lights quite a bit, as long as it's still comfortable for our members to be here. Nita Botalba is one of the best authorities for recycling in the area. We've been green for so long now that uh, it is very, very uh, important to Castle Edward. And each, each person knows their role within the organisation. Castle Edward!